So you might be wondering, what exactly do we have left to really do in this pack since we're kind of at the point where dragons, which should be the most powerful thing we have to fight against, what is there left to do? Well, we do have a little bit more to explore in the deep dark. We don't have all the armor equipment done. I don't know if I'm going to be doing all the armor. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be working towards getting all of it or not. Uh, we have been to uh, every dimension. I do have the Twilight Forest to kind of uh, finish up. And there's a lot of these really nice weapons that we could potentially get. But I mean, I think some of these, like this right here, the, the Light's Edge. Hey, look at that. Um, why does it not show up? Okay, here it is. Edge. So the Light's Edge. This only does 20 damage, right? This says 30. All right, I understand. But that the getting the heart, getting these undying hearts are not that easy to get. Wither Roses are easy to make. Um, but this has 30 damage. This is a godly weapon. Right. But if we take a look at this, this has 21 damage. So really, this thing's pretty powerful. It may be a little bit slower than your average weapon, as long as we don't have anything in our offhand. It's pretty good and gets the job done. And then, of course, we don't really take, like, much damage at all. So, what I plan on doing today... Oh, I didn't mean to sleep here. Probably gonna have a mob, aren't we? No, it lets us sleep. Um, so, look, I guess that made made things easier. So, what I want to do is I want to go to the Twilight Forest. I want to go back to the Twilight Forest. I want to finish up fighting the bosses. Um, I also need to go ahead and just pull most of this stuff out. And, of course, if we come in contact with any dragons, we really need to take them out because... That's going to get us ever so closer to a dragon forge. We're actually pretty close to it now. We actually need 144 dragon scales, I do believe, in order to make enough um, dragon forge bricks to make everything we need. Right. And then at that point, we need to move on and we need to focus on raising our current dragon to a higher level. Uh, at least level three, I believe, and above uh, can uh, shoot fire. So once you can ride it. And then once we have more of this dragon blood, we should be good, I think. Um, I need to sort out my inventory. I'm going to be focusing on just completing the rest of the bosses. We can do that pretty quickly with an elytra. A lot of places can be just completely cleared easily, uh, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out how hard this is actually going to be. So welcome to the mushroom cage or mushroom cave. That's what I call it. Um, and as you can see, it's right here on the map. This is actually where we need to go into the Twilight Forest. And uh, there's actually a dragon right there. I just, I thought I was going to jump in and he was going to be able to break these blocks, but no. The dragon cannot break the blocks whatsoever. Um, but I do need to navigate this underground and I'm noticing something weird. Something really weird. This seems really bright for some reason. Like we have night vision? How do we have night vision? Because this is incredibly bright down here. I have no idea. I don't know why it's so bright, but it really is. Because, like, these torches normally would be kind of dark down here. It's almost like we have a permanent night vision going on right now. I don't understand it. I'm not hating it, though. Definitely not hating it. So I want to collect all these. I'll take all the charms of keeping. I will definitely take blaze rods. Anything special I can get my hands on that requires a bit of farming, I will do. And yeah, these materials are kind of hard to break. Also, you can't break underground too far. If you go underground, you're going to hit bedrock level or hit a bedrock pad. And so you have to find the uh, the actual main exit, which is a room like this that has a tunnel in it. Very similar to this. Um, I usually like to mark torches um, on like the spaces like this, for example. Let me go ahead and put these here. Um, I like to mark torches here. I also am not seeing any mobs. It's almost like it's too bright down here, which is kind of weird. Um, so this area I've been down, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to keep doing that until we find the next layer, next room. So this is the room that I'm looking for. And voila, we just hop down here and we're ready to go. Now we have another room to find. Um, I like to kind of mark this as best I can. Saying, hey, this is the way. I came from and yeah we have a room not like this like not completely covered in mushrooms but very similar to this um, and is there any pattern to this no uh, really 
I think I don't I don't think these are always randomly generated, but I think there's a few different variants. So I think memorizing this would be something that I mean, maybe somebody would do, but definitely not me. And voila, I found it. But this right here is actually something that I need to fix first. Destroy that. Um, we could take this. There should be some goodies in here. Sometimes you can actually find a maze map focus in here. Like that. There we go. We have a maze map focus. That allows us to make a map. Now, you want to be careful because this right here, if the item falls in, let's see if I can... Uh, I can't get an item in here, can I? Throw a torch. There we go. And stand back. Boom, yeah. And there's that bedrock I was talking about. But this right here, once we get close enough, oh yeah, it'll happen. So let's do this. All we gotta do is get close enough. I like to actually kind of pop this open, get close enough, and what we can do is just shoot them with arrows from here. Um, there's no need to, I mean, interact with this guy too much unless he does that. I mean, then yeah, then go for him, right? 100%. Oh boy. Yeah, and I think it feels like the uh, the like the damage rate for these guys have been cranked up, at least for most of the mobs. It definitely takes a lot to kill them. But yeah, this ain't so half bad. Not bad at all. And he is dead. All right, and it drops all of his stuff. Now, in order to get the advancement thing that you need to progress, because this runs off of its advancement chain, you do need to eat the stroganoff and the stroganoff is then going to unlock the ability for you to go after the other bosses though the same one that is in this area and that is the uh the hydra which uh is this guy you see where i'm my guy's aiming yeah we got to go after that three-headed dragon who's just a lovable beast right he is just a love filled monster right he is your he's your best friend right right so uh yeah there's not a lot of great loot in here i mean you got i mean kind of like a full set of this this armor stuff but i mean i'll take the instant health potion maybe i'll take these and the still leaf i'll take another map focus though uh and the maze wafers you can actually take their food but why not uh they don't give you well, actually you know what they don't give you anything at all and that's basically it now we got to find our way back out normally i would look for the uh the maze i what is this actually wait a minute why is that cobblestone i'm kind of confused there is there some kind of structure that is that is here oh my gosh a mob what a zombie spawner just so happens to be right here and thus, we have this spawner just like, okay, <laughs> randomly there. How weird. So I need to get out of this place, and the best way to do that, well, it's probably going to be to grab some gravel here, just enough so I can get attached to this vine and make my way back out. But on, at the same time, I'm going to have a dragon after me. So I need to be ready and prepared. Um... Okay, so I need to get it just enough so I can get up here. Let's grab... Oh, we gotta go back and get that gravel. Let's go back, get the gravel. There we go. And that should hopefully be enough. It's a pillar right here. And there. Then we just take the vines up. Oh, perfect. Now right here, we can just get right out. Perfect. Now, all we have to worry about is that dragon that's just uh, lurking about. I have no idea where he's at. But I need to be prepared and ready. You know what I want to do? I actually want to lead this dragon over to the other dragon and see what kind of shenanigans actually take place. So if we get this guy to follow me... Or are you stuck? What's wrong with you? Okay, come here. Are you stuck? Why is this guy after me? What is going on over here? Oh, we got a skeleton. Oh, that was a creeper. We got this guy. All right, so he's he must be stuck or something. 
Come on, get out of there. Thank you. All right, now follow me. We're going this way, man. Can, hey, can you... Of course, you have to be diff difficult. Let's... Come on. Stage three. All right, come on. Come with me. Where are we going? This is not the way. We need to go this way. All right. Come on. He's in water. That's probably why. All right, there it goes. All right, so we're heading off this direction. Ooh, I take the take the boost. All right. Take the food. All right, let go, let go. He picked pick me up in his mouth. All right, we gotta get to this. We gotta get to this dragon. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be epic. All right, this is probably gonna be kind of weird. Oh, there's already a dragon here. So, here we are. All right, this is the Hydra. Definitely retextured. Um, usually you can hit these things back at them. That's something you could do. Like, they blow up. Or you can just, you know, walk up and just whack them in the head a few times. Or in the body. It's also... Usually the head, though, is a good good way to do this. Or the neck. And you can just keep whacking at them. There's all kinds of ways. There we go. Come on. You gotta know which head to hit, though. Like, yeah, that's doing a bit more damage. It all depends on like what body part is currently taking the most damage, but you can see that the the damage rate of these guys is definitely a little bit higher than probably your standard experience. At least that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we can always step back for a second. I don't know what took uh, what allowed him to take such a big damage hit just a second ago. And also, I want to get my dragon in here. Where's my dragon? Wait, I, I'm sure this. This guy can also regenerate, by the way. At least he didn't know that. Where's the actual dragon? Come on. I gotta wake this guy up. This guy is not being smart over here. Hey, come here. Come here. This way. This way. Hey, you big, you big dummy. Over here. Hey. Come here. You got a problem going up mountains or something? All right, that's what I thought. I want to see if this guy can help help me damage these guys. Come on. Come down here. Come here. There you go. There you go. All right, this way. Come on. All right, I just want to see. Ugh. Can we do anything or am I going to have to just kill you? Can we glitch this out in any way? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Oh, oh, it's helping us. Oh, it looks like the Hydra's going for him. Epic dragon battle going on right now. Oh, there we go, and he's down. So that dragon's dead. And I think this guy has lost my attention. Get, our get his attention back. There we go. That went down a little bit. Can we get some of those uh, those balls? Can you shoot them my way so I can knock them back at you? Oh, there's that head gone. We've almost got this now. Look at all these heads just all crisscrossed and everything. Holy moly. Now we got more heads. So we're chopping heads off. Oh my gosh. Alright, this must be the real head. This is the head with the heart in it. <laughs> so what you gotta do, you gotta find the head with the heart in it. And we'll just keep chopping them. Oh, 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 that was the one. 
And uh, another boss down. Just like that. Man. That's what you gotta do, though. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I love that new texture, though. That is very fancy. Look at that. Look at that Hydra head. That is very fancy. I like that. And this, these, this food? The Hydra chops? Oh, man. Talk about good food right there. That's some good food. And we gotta drain this guy. I just, I'm gonna take all of the scales because we do need a few more scales. And that's it for this guy. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So the next place on our list um, is going to have to be the Dark Forest. By far, my second least favorite place is this biome here. Now, if we go too far in, we can actually go very far because we're going to encounter something that we don't really want to mess with yet because we can't, well, for one thing, we can't get in there. Um, and that is the Urgas Tower, which is where it changes right here. So we need to find an edge that we're pretty close to. Kind of drop down here for a second. Um, and you see those little, uh, these little guys that are over here? Well, yeah, we got to find that. And that is an underground sort of base as well. Uh, I guess a hidden, hidden dungeon area. And we got to go underneath the canopy and go through that. Yeah. It's so weird that it's almost like I have night vision. I have no idea. I don't have any shaders on, so it's not shaders. It's very, very interesting. Well, right here is exactly where we need to be. Right here. Okay. Um, looks like we got some guys lingering around. These guys. Um, but to get in here, we have to have a trophy. We have to have some other boss's head. And luckily for us, we just got a Hydra Trophy, so we can throw a Hydra Trophy on here. That opens it up. Ooh, that, that guy does not look like he's your friend. Did you see he just blew up? He just blew up. We also had a Mushroom Trophy as well. But you can pick these up. You can also take these as well. Like, these are all just random items that you can carry with you. We've got to, however, find the boss room in this. Yeah, that could pose a problem because the boss room is actually not the easiest thing to find. Um, you will, however, find some uh, chests and stuff. So there are chests. Um, is there going to be anything in the chest that we need? Probably not. So I'm going to continue hunting and hopefully we come across the next boss. Oh, yeah, these guys are not fun either. Oh, man. Yeah, these, are, these guys are really tanky. And then after you defeat them, you have the lower half. Look at them. Lower half goblin. Oh, that's so, so funny. So look what I found. That's right. Here we are. Man. All right. So this actually didn't take very long at all. Like, I literally walked down two stairs. And here it was. So sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it takes a long time. So... All right, here we go. First things first, we just got to start taking these guys out. Um, doesn't, I think the texture was changed on these guys a little bit. Oh, that guy looked like it was invisible. And so, yeah, this one's a, probably one of the, what is that? Did that change? I've never seen that before. Maybe the texture is because of the texture change. Yeah. That or the twilight changed this boss. I don't know. Either way, this one's also not too difficult to complete. Um, actually, none of, honestly, at the point we're at in this game with the ability to fly a little bit, like, none of these bosses are going to be too hard to beat. Even the Urgas, since we can just fly right up to the Urgas Tower with our Elytra. I know, it seems like such a cheese, but it's really, like, such an easy thing to do, so there's really no point. Well, yeah, this battle is... Uh, Probably one of my least favorites, I'd have to say. Least favorites. It it looks really cool, but in I mean it's just a bunch of little little guys you have to defeat. Uh, and then once you defeat it, I wish these had like actual chests in them, like they were graves, but they're not. So what you get is let me go ahead and get these guys done. Oh, yeah, it looks like the phantoms are like 
It's him body being taken over by something. I don't know. And it's over. And then a chest spawns. And then inside the chest, you get, you know, some gear and stuff. Like if that's your thing. But so here stands before us the ultimate battle, right? Actually, I, I prefer this boss over all the bosses. Let's go ahead and fly up here. And uh, I'll just kind of skip the whole process. There's keys that are in here. You're supposed to be able to find them. But we don't have to do that because uh, we're already the boss, right? So what we need to do is just fly right up here. And see where that spawner is right there? Yep. We're going to spawn in that and swap our gear. Open these up. And yeah, things are about to get a little noisy. Um, we need to open these up. Um, kill off some of these mobs. And what we're looking for is some gas to spawn that kind of look like this guy, but aren't this guy, right? This guy shoots some uh, gas balls, by the way, that you can't really hit back. I mean, you, I mean, you can hit them back, but yeah, what you want to do is you want to kill these guys, kill them all, then step on the pressure plate. And it's supposed to suck this guy in, but it's, it's seeming to not do that. The arrows should hit him, but it's not going to do as much damage as if we get him pulled in. So let's head this way. Got to figure out where all the gas are at. These tears, by the way, are not okay. So this guy... We don't have enough. Sometimes you can get pretty lucky. Probably should have waited until he's just a little bit closer. Hmm. I hate the tears, by the way. Alright, so here's some. You can see that got pulled in. Basically, those things are going to fill up with a little uh, baby gas. Oh, this room's got some in it. Okay. This will probably be it then. Let's see. Let's get this guy. That one in it. Almost enough. Yeah, arrows up here. They're not going to do anything to this guy. Nothing. But. Nope. We just got to wait for enough gas to fill these things up. So here's a good one. Okay. So they've definitely, they're all over here. And step on it. All right. It allows us to hit them. Definitely causes a lot of damage. To us as well. But it's worth it. Let's see if we can do it again with this one. We get them all in there. We got these guys. They're all getting sucked in. And then step on it. Oh, yeah. We're taking out this year, I guess. 100% just like that. And I think this area... Oh, this one's full again. That one's full, too. That one's kind of hard to get to, though. Look at these little guys. This will definitely... Oh, okay. That was kind of early. But it definitely worked. They sort of... They sort of activated that one. Look at all of these guys. Okay, so this one might have broke, actually. Oh, nope. He's just not coming over here. Interesting. All right, we got to make that jump. All right, let's hurry. Oh, big one. See, it's not that bad, but you can definitely tell that this guy has more definitely has more health than normal 
All right, here we go. Let's activate it. Oh, yeah. We've almost got this bad boy killed. Almost. We'll leave that guy be. Well, early activation. Sometimes they'll activate it, which isn't isn't the best thing. Nothing you can really control, though. Oh, looks like this room's got some in it. This one is definitely ready to go. So I almost have the gas killed. This is probably the last one right here. Right here. And... Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so close. It's definitely so close. Come on, we need a few more things to spawn, and we're good. Come on, shoot me. Come on. I want to shoot. I want to knock him back. Oh, we got you back. Uh oh. Come on. I love shooting these things back. Oh, come on. Give me something to work with, at least. There we go. I didn't even do anything. There we go. All right. <laughs> we, had to, we had to get that set back up. Oh, does he... Does this thing chase after him? It definitely chased after those. We got these guys over here. Alright. Maybe... Is there a dragon? When the world's doing that? Is this from a dragon? Uh, excuse me. About no to that dragon. Whatever dragon might be doing that. All right, can we get this? Is this ready to go? Come here. Come here. Come this way. Come here. Oh my gosh. Literally just not where I want him to be. Yikes. All right. We got to, uh, we got to definitely eat something. I'm going to try and eat a Hydra Chop. See if that works. I don't think we can take this out just by shooting it. So after crashing and come coming back. Yeah. Um, that whole ordeal. Uh, we now have to figure out how to kill this guy. Still, we're having problems. Um, there's only one, like, we just need to, need the little gas. And because this bridge is, is offset here, we're having some problems. All right, so maybe this is our lucky break. All right, so this is definitely primed and ready. We just need this to make its way here. Okay, it's, it's coming. There we go. And I think this is it. Woo! Holy moly, that took way too long. But what we end up getting is this and some more tears. And we also get some of that. Right. Wow. That took way more than it needed to. <laughs> that took way much longer than it needed to. Anyways. Wow. Wow. Guys, I think that's it for today. I think I got a lot done. I think uh, we're getting through the Twilight Forest. This is basically all the content, as far as dimensions go, that's really left here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to give this a huge thumbs up. Guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.